Hi Church and welcome to today's devotion. I hope you're really enjoying our week of prayer. I hope you are sensing momentum and breakthrough. I'm really looking forward to our prayer breakfast together on Saturday morning. It's going to be a brilliant time together. Today we're going to be praying for healing and I want to read a short passage of scripture from Mark chapter 1, share a couple of thoughts and then we're going to dive in to praying for people today. Mark chapter 1, 40 to 42 says this, a man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus, begging to be healed. If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean, he said. Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared and the man was healed. I absolutely love this passage because it shows both the compassionate nature of Jesus and the all-powerful nature of Jesus. He was moved with compassion to do something and he is fully able and willing to heal this man. Today, we're gonna to be praying for healing. We're gonna be praying for healing for physical bodies. We're gonna be praying for healing for mental illness. We're gonna be praying for healing for those who are maybe carrying deep emotional wounds that only Jesus can heal. I believe today he is compassionate, he is willing and he is able. He himself calls himself Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. And so as we come to praying for healing today, I want us to approach it firstly reminding ourselves and acknowledging he is a compassionate God who was moved with compassion and he is the same yesterday, today and forever. And he is moved with compassion today towards those who are sick and hurt him. When I was preparing for this, I sensed and believe in my spirit that for some people, this is a year of restoration. This is a year when either your, your body is going to be restored, your mind is going to be restored, or those deep wounds are going to be healed. He is a God who can take our brokenness and make something beautiful. So I am expectant today as we pray for healing. Only yesterday I heard a great testimony that I just want to share with you. There's a beautiful single mum in our church of two girls and she was told she had double blood clots on her lungs and the next morning first thing she had to have a scan to find out if she needed surgery. They were saying it was either going to be surgery or blood thinners for four months. And so a group of us got together and we prayed together. And this mum, she went for her scan and the doctor contacted her and said, um, there aren't any blood clots. You can throw away your blood thinners. We're just going to treat you for a chest infection. Um, even though the x-ray hadn't shown a chest infection either. But basically, what they said was there was no longer there. And so I believe that is such a great answer to prayer. So as we come today, we're having faith together that God is able, he's willing and he's compassionate. So church, it's over to you. I want you to lift up those names of people you know today you need a healing touch from Jesus. He came to set the captives free and by his stripes we are healed. So come today church with faith in a God who is able, a God who is willing and a God who is compassionate. I'm going to pray and then, um, well we're all going to pray and then it's uh, over to you. So Lord I thank you today that you're a God who is able, a God who is willing and a God who is moved with compassion and we're just lifting up people to you right now. Even now maybe just lift up different names to the Lord. God we're lifting up people right now to you and we are praying today that in Jesus name they will receive a healing touch from you. God that you would come and answer prayer today. You would come and move in mighty power in people's hearts and minds and bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, have a brilliant day, church. And um, I'm excited to hear all of the different answers to prayer for things we've been praying for this week. Bye.